Hello and welcome once again to the Performance Centre here at Howley Hall Golf Club where today I'm taking a look at the brand new Rad Speed driver range from Cobra. Hi there, Ryan Rastel here for GolfShake.com and before we get into talking about these new drivers, please make sure you hit that subscribe button to see loads more content from all of us here at GolfShake to help you play more and play better. So, new releases all coming out early next year and we've been lucky enough to get our hands on the new Rad Speed line from Cobra um, and we're going to take a look at the drivers today. So. Let's, uh, I've got two different models here, um, there are three in total, I've been sent two as samples to have a bit of a hit with, which I'll talk to you about, but I'll also tell you a little bit of info about the other one. So, we have the Rad Speed driver, which I have in my hand here, we have the Rad Speed XB, which stands for Extreme Back, so the weight is a little bit further back in the head, and the one that I don't have is the XD, which is Extreme Draw, so obviously the cleverer ones amongst you will know that that is one where the weight is more in the heel, helps to, um, to promote that kind of draw bias that we would see in a driver. So unfortunately I'm not going to get a chance to hit that, but um, with these two I'll give you a bit of a rundown of what I think. So let's talk about the technology now. Rad Speed and the um, rad kind of name is all about the radial weighting that Cobra are using. So moving weight around the head and particularly out to the perimeter of the driver to make it perform better for you. And what the engineers have been using a process um, and um, kind of a, an engineering um, technique looking at what's called the radius of gyration. And what that is is basically um, all the different pieces of technology in the head, it, it's it's basically um, the distance from the club centre of gravity to each of the, the weight points or the technology points in the head. So it's making sure that when they increase the radius of gyration, so moving, um, that, moving the weight as far away from the club centre of gravity as possible or, um, or moving the weight around the head, it basically makes it more forgiving. It helps you um, increase ball speed and also lower spin. So... The radius of gyration is all about trying to get the technologies working at an optimal level for you in the club head. And it's by moving them around and kind of getting them as far away from the um, centre of gravity as possible. So uh, this story runs throughout the whole driver line. Now, if we talk about the rad speed driver on its own, so we can see here we've got two uh, weights that are movable. So we've got a 12 gram heavier weight, a two gram lighter weight. That is obviously going to allow you to move um, the centre of gravity slightly, so move more weight towards the back to promote you know, a slightly higher ball flight, um, whereas moving it to the front will lower spin, lower ball flight ever so slightly. So um, we also have the same uh, adjustability in there that we've seen in previous um, driver models from Cobra, so we're going to be able to dial that in a little bit more. But the standard rad speed is really aimed at you kind of, I'd say probably a more higher club head speed player or someone who really needs to try and control spin as much as possible and maybe wants to um, control the ball flight a little bit more too. So um, it's available in both 9 degree uh, and 10 and a half head, 460cc. Um, we've got the, the carbon fibre uh, wrap crown. So Cobra have been able to save um, 13 grams of weight in the top of this. So that's been um, repositioned in the head and allowed them to obviously uh, make the driver perform a little bit better. Um, so repositioning that around the club head to, to help us to uh, lower spin, make it more forgiving, increase ball speed, etc. Uh, we've also got the Infinity Face as well, um, which we've seen in uh, the previous model of, of the drivers as well. Uh, so Infinity Face is obviously more precise in the way that it's manufactured. Um, so uh, with the CNC milling process that goes on in there, um, it's different to obviously when it's hand polished and there is obviously human error at, at work there. Whereas when it's machined, it's very, very precise and, and make sure that every driver that leaves the factory has the right roll and bulge and loft and everything on the face there that we look for. Also this T-bar chassis that the, the head um, and to be honest, all the rad speed drivers have works with that carbon fiber wrap crown um, Together, both of those help to save that 13 grams of weight that I was talking about before to, to help reposition that around the head. So the technology in here, it, it's packed in basically. Um, in this Rad Speed uh, standard, we get the matte finish on the top, which I know a lot of you absolutely love. 
Um, I'm a bit kind of, I'm not sure about it really. Um, certainly when I've hit it inside, I don't really like the look of it, but then um, as you'll see later, I've hit it outside and I actually, I've actually quite liked it. So I'm, I'm kind of in the middle, I'm on the fence. I'm not really uh, drawn one way or the other, but but yeah, really, really like um, when, I've, when I've tested this and got to hit it, it, it's been great. And certainly I think it's slightly better than, um, for me anyway when i've when i've used it I, i've got better performance out of this than i did um in last last year's um sz so when we move on to the um the rad speed xb driver so extreme back so we've got the weight further back in the head helps promote that slightly higher launch and spin higher moi as well to make this more forgiving now this is going to suit the the vast majority of of golfer and and higher percentage of the market really out there. So I'd expect this one to be the one that Cobra probably sell the most of this year. Although the rad speed is obviously very good. It maybe is a little bit too low spin for some players, but um, obviously, like I said before, they do have the um, XD as well, which is the extreme draw. So this weight is moved a little bit further into the heel and helps promote that draw bias as well. But many of the same technologies are obviously present in this as well. So we have that lightweight, um, uh, carbon wrap crown uh, with the obviously the t-bar chassis as well so saving that weight uh, being able to redistribute that this time we have uh, 14 grams of weight in the back there and a six gram weight put in the back so we've got plenty of weight there at the back of the driver really helping in its stability and, and making it perform slightly better both these uh, well, sorry all three of these drivers have cobra connect as well so um those of you that know about Cobra Connect will know that it is a system where you are able to track all of the shots that you hit. It's um, it's uh, in all Cobra products now. So uh, as well as you know the putter that we saw um, that that came out the uh, the 3D printed um, story around that as well. So now Cobra Connect is all the way through the bag, and this really helps you to. Um, sort of enhance your golfing experience, I suppose, because you can keep your own stats, you can look at all the distances you hit your clubs. When you get into using Arcos and the Caddy system on there as well, it'll actually tell you which clubs to hit from certain positions once it gets to know your game a little bit. So it really is pretty comprehensive in in all of the ways that it can help your golf game as well. And um, we have done videos on that in the past, so check those out too on the channel. Um, but yeah, it, it's... it's um, as standard in every Cobra product that you buy. So so yeah, we've we've still got the same infinity face that we talked about before, so so very precise in the way that it's manufactured. And I would just expect this probably to go a little bit higher and spin a bit more than the Rad Speed model, but we're going to hit some on the Trackman here now. Um, I've hit some already and absolutely love them, but I'd like to see some numbers and see how how far they're going. And then I'm also going to take them out on the golf course, going to hit some out there. Um, as I mentioned before, I have taken them out, played a few holes already, but I'm going to go out again and play another round with them um, and obviously take some videos and show you exactly what I find when I get out there. But I'm expecting some good results. So let's check them out and let's go and see. So just out on the course here, um, just playing a few holes using um, both the Radspeed driver and also the uh, Radspeed XB. Um, hit a few tee shots off um, quite a few of the holes now with with both. Um, contrary to what I was seeing inside, I didn't really like the matte kind of finish um, when I was hitting balls inside, but out, out here I actually prefer it, which is quite strange. Um, the XB extreme back driver is quite shiny on the top. It's obviously a gloss finish rather than the matte of the uh, rad speed. So um, there is quite a big difference there. I've, I prefer the feel off the off the um, rad speed as well. So it's uh, certainly aimed at. I mean, I'm I'm someone who spins the ball quite a lot anyway. So trying to get something that spins a little bit lower is ideal really for me. And it seems to be doing that out here on the course. It's noticeable how much lower the ball flight is with 
with rad speed as opposed to the um, XB. Um, so uh, yeah, I'd, I'd imagine performance wise, it's gonna be slightly better for me, but um, we'll obviously have a look at that when we see the Trackman numbers as well. Um, one thing to note, and I'll obviously talk about later on, is uh, I um, kind of fitted myself a shaft when I was inside, so I've gone for um, hazardous smoke yellow, which seems to perform quite nice. Um, hit some good drives with it, and like I say, um, I hit a few with uh, the XB out on uh, the tenth hole here at Howley, which is quite a tight driving hole anyway. Got up there, and um, they were both plumb middle of the fairway, a little bit shorter maybe than I would expect, but it is quite wet and it's quite cold, so. Um, we'll try and uh, see what the uh, what the normal rad speed does as well. So I've hit a few down the 11th fairway here. The first one was absolutely ripped and literally did not move in the air, just dead straight ball flight. So uh, yeah, quite excited to see where that's gone. Um, but yeah, both perform really, really nicely and uh, they are quite loud off the face though. So um, certainly a bit louder than some of the drivers that I've tried. Uh, so I mean, it's not, not a criticism really, but they are, you know, noticeably louder when you hit them um, than certainly what I'm used to but performance wise they seem to be very very good so to those of you who've played Howley before I've just hit one with rad speed driver um, off the very back tee on 11 that is the left hand bunker that you're kind of aiming at off the tee obviously I'm quite a way past that um, you can see it's pitched there and finished there and I'm looking at a shot of about Ooh, 75 yards probably to the middle of the green and it's freezing cold no wind really um, and soaking wet as you can see by the amount of run that I've got on it so um, yeah that was that was long very very long and certainly longer than uh, longer than I'd normally hit it down here even you know even in some of the drier conditions I've not got much further than this so that has come off and gone a long long way so yeah very very good so when we take a little bit of a look at the performance of rad speed drivers, we can see there that um, the rad speed, just like I saw outside, just goes that little bit further for me. So I'm getting a little bit more carry. It's, there's not a lot in it, to be honest. And to be honest, I, I thought there'd be a bit more difference in, in the spin numbers as well. But we can see 2,600-ish um, RPM with rad speed, uh, 293 carry, 311, 312-ish total distance, which is pretty good. Um, and then with uh, the XB, we're seeing 288 carry, 305. So it's a little bit shorter, but it, it's not a lot. You know, five, six, seven yards is, is not, not really that, that much, to be honest. We can see the ball speeds are quite similar. Um, ball flight was just ever so slightly lower um, and the spin under control a little bit more with rad speed, which is what you'd expect, to be honest. And certainly on the golf course, when I hit it, there was... I think more of a noticeable difference between the ball flight. So the XB was significantly higher ball flight uh, than what I was getting with, with rad speed. And I honestly thought when we tested them that the spin numbers would be quite far apart. But we can see there that, that that's not the case. We're, we're actually getting you know fairly similar results, but just that slightly lower spin um, and the, the slightly lower um, dynamic loft, it's about one degree different. Now, I don't know why that is because they're both exactly the same um, loft the drivers are. Um, smash factor is pretty much identical, attack angle is pretty much the same. Um, so really not, not much is differing other than the spin is just slightly lower so we're just getting that bit more carry and a bit more run on there as well. But that's pretty much what we're seeing out on the golf course. Um, so yeah. Both of them go a long way, and we can see the club head speed is pretty decent. Now, normally, I, I kind of average about 116-ish, 117, but certainly as soon as I started hitting these, we're seeing that I was getting a bit more. Don't know why that is. Is it because it's more aerodynamic? I don't know. Um, or was I just swinging it better today? I, I really couldn't tell you. You know, I've, if I felt like I was hitting it pretty good, and we can see there that the numbers are, are fairly decent as well. So, but they're definitely two models you should you should look at. So. Um, if you're the, that player who maybe um, struggles a bit with shaping the ball too much, then the XB or, or maybe even the XD might be the model for you to have a look at. If you're someone who wants to try and lower spin and launch and maybe have um, slightly less workability, but, um, but you know maybe you're a higher club head speed player that needs a bit more control, potentially rad speed is the one to look at. But like I always say, go and get custom fitted properly, try them out for yourself and make your own mind up. Hope you all enjoyed the video. I've certainly loved testing these golf clubs as I do with most of the things that we get sent. Uh, 
as as we saw, I thought before going out on the course and hitting some on the track, man, that the rad speed would suit me better, and we certainly see that that is the case. But um, the X um, XB feels fantastic as well. So that that weight further back in the head just made it so easy to hit straight. And like I said earlier on in the video, I think that this is the model that's going to suit the vast majority of the golf market as well. Um, but yeah, Rad Speed is definitely um, a driver series you should be thinking about and going and trying and getting fitted properly. If you've got any questions about custom fitting, please leave them below. If you've got any questions about these products as well, having hit them, if you want to know, know anything more about them, please drop them in there as well and I'll do my best to answer all of them. Hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you all very, very soon.